Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we are going to see the problem implement try, which is also called as prefix tree. So, firstly, like if you guys are watching and after watching, if you like, then please do the like button. It helps motivate a lot. Before further ado, let's start with the problem. So, it says that a try is pronounced as a try, okay, or a prefix tree. So, prefix tree means that if we have a string, if we choose a prefix of that string, we can make a tree out of that prefix part of a string. We will show completely how that is made. But it is said that okay, it's a data structure to efficiently store and retrieve keys in a data set of strings. Cool, no worries. Let's see how it is done. So firstly, let's see, okay, why it is required, like Arun, why should I learn it? Why it will help me? Let's take example. If you have, let's say, five strings. In this example, I took as Aryan, Arya, Aryans, Ari, Ari, and Aryans. Okay, cool. So I have these five strings as my input strings. One, two, three, four, fives. Now I have one query. Let's say I just queried, okay, um, hey, you know, is A R Y A N S is present in my string or not? A R Y A N S is present in my string or not? I have these five and I have the string one query. I ask if, if this is present or not. So if I want to query this Aryans in whole this five strings, I have to go and look at every string, which means string one, I'll go and check every character. A, R, Y, A, N. Oh, it was N. But here N, S was also there in my, in my whole query. So it's not the string which, which I required. Next, I go, uh, move to a string, which is A, R, Y, A. But here was N also, so it's also not the string. Now, next I move to A, R, Y, A, N, S. Oh, I found it. But still, in worst case, it can go up to all five strings. Which means to match this one string, I have to query, I have to look at every of the five strings. Which is useless, right? So, for this matching of one string, which means to check, okay, if this one string, Aryans, was present in this list of five strings or any number of n strings, I have to go and check at every string. But, with the help of try, I can just have this one string and I just need to iterate on every letter or every character of that string, which is Aryans, A-R-Y-A-N-S, and my tree will be already made. I'll show how it is made and my tree will be already made and after making this tree, I just need, okay, A is present, yeah, it's present, R is present, yeah, it's present, Y is present, yeah, it's present, A is present, yeah, it's present, N is present, yeah, it's present, a S is present, yeah, it's present, which made it that, okay, I just need, I just, I don't have to iterate on every string of this, which, which, which were the five strings, I just can query out every character and see if that is in my tree in the correct location if it is yes then i'm good if it is not then this query string which was aryans in our case is not present let's see let's see okay now we saw okay how it can drastically reduce the amount of efforts or transaction or iterations we do in that problem let's see how a try is made how we can efficiently search that particular string in our actual tree and how that tree will be made firstly because it's a prefix tree right let's see how it is made so firstly we just initialize that tree or okay, try uh, it's just that okay well let's see how it is done it's just okay the problem states see i'm just having this example see the example problem is not much sufficient to understand every aspect of this problem aspect of this problem but yeah we will actually see a variation of this example which in which i'll add a few more steps or means like the few more searches or starts with so as to make it a perfect example to actually learn try Let's see. Firstly, if we have an input called as apple and we know, okay, we have to make a tree. A tree will be made by a prefix part. So, which means, okay, I initialized my try, which means a tree and you initialize a tree with a node. Okay, your node is being initialized. You are good. Now, you have to make a tree out of this prefix part. So, let's say, see, now you only know the word as try. You're understanding, okay, how to actually make it. Now, you have this string apple. You got, you got this A, you put it in your tree. Now it's actually directed tree. Cool. You put it in your tree. Cool. No worries. You got it. Now the next prefix part is AP, but you actually have put A already. So after that P will come. 
cool now the next prefix part is a p p a p n already put so next part will come again p now is a p p l a p p is already there so l will come now in the tree a p p l e a p p l is already in the tree e will come in the tree so as you can easily see i inserted every character in my tree every Character is inserted in a form considering that okay the prefix has already gone in the tree that's it's called a prefix tree cool let's see if we want to another insert another string let's say I want to insert now a p p so initially I check a oh is a there yeah you remember a we put last time also so a is already there which I have marked in blue cool a is already there now comes a p oh you remember P was also already there. So P is also already there. Cool. A P P. Cool. P was also already there. So A P P is also already there. But now you will say Aryan. Now you just have it inside one whole thing. Like just one thing. A P P L E. Here also A P P is there. Here also, here also A P P L E is there. So let's say if in future if I will iterate on it. So how, how will I know that okay A P P was there. A P P L E was there. Or A P P L was there. That's the reason to know Okay, actually our string has ended. We have to use is complete. Just a node will store a boolean value is complete word, which will actually let me know. Okay, is that word complete now if I'm landing at that word, which means that if I will iterate a not complete. So a word called a is not in my string so far. A P is not a word in my string so far, but a P P is a string in my in my actually like a word in my whole string array so far because I have got app so I will just at every node I will just show okay is that word complete as soon as my words get completed I will just mark that is word complete variable as true it is just so that okay because I am marking every word in the same tree kind of right because I mark app in the same branch I mark app le in the same branch so I should know okay app is complete app le is complete but app l is not complete so here if i land at l and i ask app l it is not complete because it's complete variable is false for it and for this example in the last which we saw we will actually also put r is complete variable as true because it is complete now with this help i can also say okay my app le is complete it's just say okay to know that if that string was actually a complete string present in us in our tree or not. Now let's insert another um, in another string. Let's say a p p a p e a already present. We saw earlier also it was already present. Now a p a p already present. We saw earlier also a p p when we when we were uh, pushing it a p was also already present. So p is already already also present. Now comes e. Oh, in our tree. A P was present, A P P was present, which means after P only P was present, but nothing else. So I need to insert an E also. And also as it is the end of that particular string, so it is also the complete string has done. So I also mark is complete variable as true. Cool. Let's also insert one more character, one more string. Cool. Let's insert B P. If I insert B P B, I'll check B. Oh, I have never inserted B initially right so i have to make a new node b i made a new node b because as you can easily see that initially i have just inserted a so the prefix part which means the starting part as b has never come so i just insert b cool then comes the bp b is done p is okay i just insert a b because after b is nothing has been there now comes bb also it's new so i just also and again i'll just mark is complete as true for it because now it is complete which will help me know in future because bp is not complete but bpe is complete cool now we inserted everything now let's see how you'll search it and so far by the explanation you should have been okay how to actually search it it's very simple if we has this app i'll just see okay i'm starting at my root i'm standing at this root node i'll see okay is a present anywhere I can see a b a present b present yeah a is present okay i'll just go on to that a now next character is p is p present after a p present yeah p p p p, p is present cool i'll just go on to p after p p is present 
After P, I can easily see that P and E are present. But yeah, I wanted P. P is present. I landed. Okay. My search for this left uh, like string is complete. Now I landed at this. But I need to know is this complete or not? And if you remember, we have actually marked earlier at every string at the every like node we marked. Okay. If we are landing at that, is that complete? So I'll just check is complete or not is complete of that word is true or not. If that variable is true for that particular node, I'll just say, yeah, we have found a string. That's a complete string. Let's see another search. Let's say we have a BP. So initially I'm at the root node. I'll see. Okay. I have a, I have B. Yeah, I wanted B. I have B. I'll just move on to that B. Cool. I just moved on to that P. Now, if I'm standing at B, um, I need to go at P. I, I can see options. Okay. I have B. Yeah, right. I'm standing at B. I see options. I have B, P, and I actually wanted to move on P. I just moved on to P. But, but, but now my string has ended. But here is complete variable was in like by default was false. So like we have not marked it as true, which means that, okay, it's not my actual complete string. So I can just return it as false. Okay. The search was not there. BP is not a string as a whole in my input. Cool. Now let's say starts with, so starts with is just that a search but it is not required to be a specific string, which means that we just need to find a prefix if it is present or not. Let's say if we have AP, we have this root node, we are starting at this root node, we check, okay, we have A, we have P. We wanted A, we just moved on to A. Then what we have is, next is we want P. We just, after A, we have P, correct. We just moved on to this P. Now, see, is complete is false here, but I just, I'm not searching. I'm saying, I'm just, C starts with, which means that, okay, is there any string in my input, which starts with AP and yeah, as it is in the path of multiple strings. So it is starting with AP. There is one such string, at least one such string in my input, which starts with AP. So I just return true because AP is actually in my tree. Cool. Let's see if we have APPE. So I'm at root, I start with A, then I move to P, then I move to P. But after P, I could not find a E. There is only a L, which means A, P, E is not there. So there is no string in my input, which starts with A, P, P, E. So I can just return a false. Okay, my A, P, P is not present. So it was all the thing that, okay, how the try will be made, how my search will be implemented on that and how my starts with, which is just a perfect will be implemented on that. Let's see the complexity of this problem is just very simple. Insert, see as you're inserting length, because see, you have this particular string, you have to insert that and try. So you're moving on to every character of this particular string, which you want to insert. And you are just moving on to the tree one by one, one, one by one. So you are just iterating on this string as a whole, right? So you just have to push in the number of length of this particular string. So I just say, okay, to insert this particular string, I just need to iterate on this as a whole. So as to insert every node in my tree, and that is just O of N. And to search also, I need to search, okay, if this letter A was present in my try, after A is P present in my try, after P is another P present in my try, after P another L is present in my try, after P L another E is present in my try, okay. So I'm just again iterating on the every character of that string for search. So it's again also O of N. First space complexity as we are inserting every character in my try. So it is just O of S where S is just C. I have let's say N strings and every string has let's say small s. I have n strings and every string, let's say, has small s characters. And let's say every character is unique, which means that in our example, we had A, P, P, L, E and A, P, P. So I was just inserting A, P, P, L, E, right? Because A, P, P, A, P, P was already present in my apple. So I just, I, I don't have to make a unique node for A, P, P. I just have to make for unique ordered nodes or unique ordered string, which means that APPL he has come. So I don't have to make new nodes for APP because APP has already come. So it is just that 
I have this new sequence, which means the new order character, whichever will come. It is just the space compression because I will have to insert every node in that try. It is just that every node you insert in the try, it will just we have the complexity of that. The codes are in every language is possible. The link will be below in the comments in which I have mentioned every code. For reference, every code looks exactly the same. For reference, I'm just showing here the C++ code explaining the uh, C++ code side by side. You can open exactly your language code and it will exactly work like this. Firstly, we initiate our try. A try will have what? Firstly, a root node, which is a node, but a node will have what? Firstly, we had a variable called as is complete word, which will actually store. Okay, if that node has ended on a good value, good node, and it also has need to have children, which are also nodes, which will represent. Okay, because as you can easily see that, right? If I was at the root node, I, I was having a B. So how many can at max go to? It can go up to Z because every letter can start from a small case letter, which is a B up to Z. So the root node which means the node can have firstly it, it, it will have a value okay is that complete is that node landing on a complete thing and in, in, initialize to false and then that node has childs which are actually nodes but it will be up till 26 because we have a to z cool we just initialized it the childs which is offline 26 in python we, we don't have to give the limits and all it's just we can do on runtime also but yeah in c++ we have to so yeah you can just open the code side by side by the link below and after that we have this try node which is actually we initialize the root node because as you saw we had this gray node in the root node after that we have we have this insert operation in which firstly i i just got that root node because after that root node only i have to start inserting if there is nothing so um, I will have this firstly index which will actually let me know okay at which index I need to place because I have this root now let's say I need to place C so I have to access this index 2 so I just do a ch which is C in, the, in our example minus a so I just get the index I'll just if that if that particular C node is not present is not present which means it is null then only I'll just have that as my child node and I just make a new node C now I'll just move on to that node C now I'll just move on to this particular loop again and again and again until my let's say a p p l e everything is complete okay I just mark the last node which is e in our example as true and we are good that we have inserted a particular string if you want to search the particular string exactly the same thing first we initialize the root node then we actually found the index of that particular character which means if we want to search app in the tree made so far which which was made of apple and app then i just have this a then i find the index okay in a's index is a minus a which is zero so the root node has a child at zero yeah then if there is then I can just move on if there is not which means that a let's say was not present which means it would have been a null then for sure a is if I want to search for app and a is already not present so how come app will, uh, would be there right so for sure if a is not present which is the starting part so rest part I don't have to figure out and I just return a false else I will just go on iterating on the child 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 at last if I am landing at a node I need to see okay if that word is complete or not which I'll check okay if that word is complete or not because it's a search and not a start with while in the case of a start with exactly the same thing exactly the same thing exactly the same thing happens it's just that uh, in the last we need to return a true for sure because because it's just a prefix right we don't need it to be complete and that's it from this video I hope that you guys understood every part of this problem I showed the intuition how we thought how it's a tree how we make the prefix tree and all that stuff so if you guys liked it then please do the like button it helps me motivates a lot and yeah see you guys in the next video then goodbye take care bye bye